everyone. We will be using uh, method write tools uh, add-on for the nodes during the raiding and also a weak aura uh, case MRT bars uh, to present the nodes. Uh, currently, the last time we used the nodes and every spell was on the single line, so uh, everyone was seeing only their spells. However, it ta took, takes too much time to prepare it like this way. Uh, hence, I will use the default way of the notes, uh, which will be presenting single row of actions per encounter in the boss fight. So, for example, the timer 014, all the actions are presented on single line or single row in the spreadsheet. And they are less readable, that's why the weak auras were implemented to only show you single action that's strictly related to you. But first of all, uh, a reminder about the method rate tools. Uh, the setting itself, I would advise removing the glowing node setting, as we will be not focusing anymore on the nodes. So they don't have to give you a glow when it's your time to use something. But up to you. Uh, for the presentation, uh, I'm also ha not having the option show note only in RAID, but feel free to select it for yourself. They will only appear in the RAID. Mm, if you want to fully hide the note because you will find the weak aura useful for you more than the note, just slide the alpha and don't worry about it. Uh, and from the settings, that would be it. Uh, from the notes itself, I will be preparing them and sharing with you based on the raid group and the encounter we plan to go. Uh, mostly we will focus on the season 2 to make it more reliable, let's say, but for now we will be more, more or less testing it in this season. And that's about it, about the MRT tools. One thing about the notes window, if you have this lock you can unlock it, move it wherever you want. You can resize it up to you. You 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 can set it up how you prefer. I'm gonna keep it here. Probably later on, I will just uh, completely make it invisible by sliding the alpha bar. But for now, for the presentation, I will keep it as is this. The notes itself are generated via the. Uh, spreadsheet on not created by me of course but uh, it's a great tool uh, Viserio I really recommend checking on it if you plan to go into the raid leading or getting to know what it's about uh, in general this focuses on the healers to not overlap the cooldowns of the healers let's say and to ensure that we have a proper healing on certain phases of the fights. Nonetheless, it's uh, also use, very useful for other callouts like uh, Rallying Christ callouts, uh, etc. Uh, Warlock Demonic Gate, Stop uh, Death Knight Anti Magic Zone, but also uh, any callouts such as instead of Raid Leader repeating stack webs somewhere, etc instead of repeating those messages, the weak aura will be reading them uh, and presenting them. So it's a bit uh, help for the raid leader. Uh, there are two types of the messages we will be analyzing. One is the spell message, the bars it will be called, and the other ones are text messages. So there is no specific icon for put the webs behind the, uh, the team. So it will be only presented as text, web behind, web on the entrance, etc. But uh, that's are just details. If some messages will be not very clear for the rate, you can always consult it and we can change the text of it. Uh, if some skills are gonna be wrongly praised, because I don't have yet such experience with all the healing classes, Feel free to inform me. We will review it, move it. I can give you access. You can edit it. You can place your cooldowns as you wish, etc. But for now, uh, I'm 
preparing this as draft and a practice for me for the second season. Coming back to the notes itself, they are presented on one line, only the line that contains my name or are targeted to everyone. So the information in this line, the 014 line, web behind is targeted to everyone because we don't know who's gonna be targeted with a web mechanic on Rashomon. That's why uh, we, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm seeing this certain line, and that's the that the way how it will be. However, as it's not very real, the weak aura will be used. There are a few weak auras uh, doing similar aspects. I find case MRT timers bar blooms edit the most useful. Uh, or I like its style of the bars, basically. That's my thing about it. Um, I will be sharing you the link to it uh, on the Discord and also over the YouTube comment section or uh, information of the video. And as I mentioned, we will have a two specific, uh, two different types of the messages, the bars and the text. Bars are gonna be usually usually the spells that you are using and the text are the additional information I would like you to present I would like to present to you during the raid but that will be shown in a moment for now I just want to let you know that this uh, weak aura uh, has a functionality which is built in World of Warcraft which is a text to speech which basically will be reading out messages for you. Some of you might not find it useful, some of you might really like it. So I would like to show you where you can enable it and disable it. Basically you select the main name of the Wikara, you go to custom options and if you don't want it you can deselect enable TTS. From my perspective, my testing, I would advise disable disabling enable countdown because every spell would be count down three two one use your spell something like this i don't find it useful i would recommend disabling uh, also all all the messages uh, will be uh, spoken in some time uh, before they should be implemented in some time you can change the time as you wish. If you feel like you are fine with having the message only two seconds before, you do it. You set it up for yourself. The notes are universal. However, if you increase the time too much, like 20 seconds, it, it's going to be very awkward on the beginning of the fight because uh, the fight starts at zero and you will request the weak aura to actually present you 20 seconds of all the notes in your notes. In my case, it would be still only one note because between the timer 00 and 020, I have one note. But for someone, for a healer, it might happen that it will read out multiple casts that you should prepare. So I would advise keeping this number relatively low, three to six seconds, but it's up to you. You will test it. You will decide if you want to use TTS or not. You will see. Also this message here, uh, on my in my case on my five second marker each spell i i need to use will be read out the name of the spell in number of seconds i set up here so for example it would be a bark skin in five seconds i i'm fine with hearing this in five seconds but probably you can get used to, if you remove it, you can get used that it's just calling it five seconds before and you will just hear bark skin and you will know in five seconds you should prepare bark skin to use. Uh, so you can edit it, probably you can add some additional information, I didn't test it yet, but feel free to do so. About the bars and the text, uh, in we cover us. Uh, the bars will be presenting your spell with a bar of a timer. Uh, if you would like to move it, uh, you have to select this group, which is hidden under the case, and you just grab it and move it wherever you find applicable. 
also for me I want the uh, multiple casts that are meant to happen I want them to grow up I don't want to, them to cover my character frame if you want to move them somewhere and you want them go for the bottom or for the left right you go to the case MRT bars group group and then you have a grow direction which you can change besides that if you find that case MRT Wikaura is showing you too many bars at the same time or too many messages at the same time you can limit it by selecting the limit and setting up the number of messages you are all right with hearing i would say three should be the maximum but everyone is different uh, and you sell, you will find your way for it also the default case mrt was a bit too big so i would advise i mean for here you can change it do, do as you wish i i did make it smaller so it's up to you if you will be downloading the this week aura directly from the vago website i will provide i personally all i personally deleted uh, two conditions here which were additional text to speech messages which were first we are hearing for example bark skin in five seconds and then if you don't remove conditions from here you will hear bark skin now which i didn't like that's too many messages i just want to know that i should be casting the spell in five seconds and that's for me that's right for me the same applies for the text groups also i have deleted chat mess uh, the messages that are read from this i i didn't find it necessary but it's up to you uh, and again you can limit the text messages which is the second uh, aspect that uh, the, this week aura is bringing we have bars and text messages the text messages will be as mentioned earlier for example webs behind etc some text messages that i actually applied to the um, spreadsheet the planning and uh, that would be it if you will be using uh, this uh, text to speech option you might find it too loud to change it you go to the game options text to speech then you select read chat text out loud configure text to speech and then you have options for the text to speech i find it all right level on 35 percent but also i increased the reading speed because i found it that some spells like this one incarnation guardian of the ursok was taking too much for the uh, too, too, too long for the add-on the week aura to actually read it so i just increased the speed of it and i think uh, it doesn't show the number approximately this i find this level fine also if you want there is some different accent of the t uh, text to speech bot let's call it you can test it for yourself after you are done with the setting you click ok but also i would recommend to disable it again because it would read some messages in the game if you leave it on in that way you changed the volume or speed or both in the setting you saved it you disable it and the, the weak aura is using that setting but it doesn't require the tts to be enabled it enables tts just for its actions on its own uh, besides this week aura there will be also required shared media classes which is a audio pack basically for some events uh, yeah that's an audio pack for an events like a horn sound or something like this and um, 
that would be most. There is also this glow plus sound options, which I disabled for myself, uh, which was under actions. Uh, you should leave it play sound on. However, I advise that you change the sound to none. This will remove the horn effect or any effect that you will hear, but it will keep the TTS working. I, I noticed that if you disable this play sound, the TTS stopped working for me. I don't know if maybe that was my mistake, but that's how I kept it working and I didn't have any more of the horn sound. I believe you would have to do the same for the both or maybe not the play sound. Okay, it's disabled here. So only for the bars apparently, but uh, yeah, that would be more or less my settings. Now, now I'm going to show you how the uh, notes are presented by the week aura. And uh, first uh, it will be only m my explanation and then I will show, uh, I will play them again. I will uh, change the voice to the time uh, text to speech only. You will not be hearing me, but you will be able to see an example of the text to speech. So uh, the cast bars are presented on spells I should use. However, also I will be presented web behind in five, which is the text message I implemented in the uh, notes in the Excel ads under the boss. It uh, it's the notes are related to Russian and Neruber, so they don't apply to Edna, but uh, it was easier for me to present it here to activate the notes here. And uh, that's how it works. Uh, you can resize them for sure. You can change the font, etc. How you will find it useful. I find them a nice style of the uh, bars. I like it. If you will need a weak aura just to show you a small icon with a text instead of the bars, there are also those. Just let me know. Rage of the Sleeper in 5. Growl in five. Web behind in five. Ads under boss in five. Alula beam in five. Stack in five. Movement refreshed in 5. Growl in 5. Bark skin in 5. Incarnation, Guardian of Ursoak in 5. Personal defensives in 5. Stampeding roar in 5. <laughs> 